The Deer Farming Channel is brought to you by Rafter P Construction. Stick around to learn more about Rafter P's design build process and of course, the biggest deer in the world. Well howdy everybody, Keith Warren here and this week Deer and Wildlife Stories travels to Missouri. We're going to start out at the Tri-State Convention and then we'll wind up showing you three different deer farms. White-tailed deer is America's favorite big game animal. And white-tailed deer farming is the fastest growing segment in the agriculture industry. Our program's mission is to dive into the world of deer farming and inform you of how deer farmers all over the country are now using rapidly developing science-based research on their captive deer herds to solve the chronic wasting disease issue through selective breeding. Not only is this new science working, but it's obvious that captive deer breeding is the only way to help save America's deer herds from CWD, which will help improve overall herd health and at the same time can produce more quality trophy sized animals for the general public. Join me as we discover how whitetail genetics, deer auctions, animal husbandry, and so much more drive the modern day deer farming industry. My name is Keith Warren and this is Deer and Wildlife Stories. Hi, I'm Jerry Campbell. I'm here at the Tri-State Fundraiser for the Whitetail Deer Association. And we have Oklahoma, Kansas, and Missouri represented. Here we're uh, educating the farmers on all the rules, regulations that are involved with the USDA and the states about producing deer. And it's a great way to get together and, and, and network. Hey, what do you say, man? You following me around? <laughs> Not intentionally. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, I'm Chris Ezel, president of Whitetails of Oklahoma. I'm here at the Tri-State Deer Convention. It's a fundraiser event that we put together every year. Amy Nolt has put most of this together. She organizes and getting a lot of the donations and putting endless time and hours into the industry. The Nolts are a great family, uh, just what you'd like to see in the deer farming industry, raised with a farming background and raising their children in a farming environment and uh, just really good people that I've enjoyed working with over the last few years. Deer farming industry within Missouri, Oklahoma, Kansas area is a really good industry. We have some of the best rules and regulations and a lot of the best hunting ranches here in these three states. This event has a really good crowd from all three states and then places from other states. People come in from all over. Uh, we have a lot of guys here as usual, but we've really tried to bring the rest of the family in. So we have a lot of women involved and children here across the event and things going on here for the women to do while they're here. We have a silent auction going on here with lots of prizes and different things that you can buy. And we also have an actual live internet auction on DV auctions that people will be watching from all over the country. Yeah, if uh, you or your friends or you know anyone that's in the industry or involved in the hunting community, please have them come to our event. Everything's free. You can get in free and uh, come join the auction and uh, buy something if you'd like or just come to meet people and learn about the industry. If you'd like more information on attending the 2024 Tri-State event, all you need to do is check out the website that you see on the screen right now. Coming up after the break, we're going to visit a deer farm that doesn't just only have white-tailed deer, but they've got some elk. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by MVP Whitetails, Dr. Ray Favero's Whitetail Genetics, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, Rafter P Construction. For more videos on deer farming, check out the Deer Farming Channel on YouTube. All right, so right now we're at Garrett and Kelly Westfalls. Okay, they are out of Liberty, Missouri, which is just outside of Kansas City. And y'all have got both deer and elk. Now, the rain is fixing to come in on us. I mean, it's been in and out, but uh, before the rain started, we actually got some really good footage. Let's start with the elk. Tell everybody about your elk. The elk, um, Kelly and I, we were deer farmers, and then all of a sudden we went to an auction, and we ended up with one elk, and now we've got the herd up to about 50. 
Started out, we were just going to have a pet, and next thing you know, we got an elk farm, too. Well, you've got some really nice bulls. Well, thank you. Okay, and how is the elk business? Is it pretty good for you? It's been strong. It, it has been. The elk's been a game changer for us. It really has. Really? Yes. How are the elk, as far as the ease of raising them, compared to white-tailed deer? I'm going to say the elk are actually a hardier animal. Something gets sick, they, they pull through. Really? They're a good, strong animal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the market's good. So, you may be wondering where these elk go. Go ahead and tell them about that. I've got a lot of the guys that have been buying the elk. They have big high fence facilities. Mm -hmm. The last guy that just bought a bunch of them from me, he bought them just for his family to enjoy. He put them out there on his ranch just to be out there to watch them and let his grandkids go out there and they enjoy them. So, and then I'm selling some to some other elk farmers, trying to get some other guys going in that business. Okay. And, and it's, it's been good. They've been buying some cows from me, bred cows. And uh, I haven't got to do a lot of the semen sales of them yet, but there'll be a day I think that'll come around yeah, too. Yeah. So tell me, as far as this farm goes, uh, we mentioned Kelly. Uh, anybody who's ever seen Garrett at a deer auction or event, Kelly's right next to you. You bet. Okay, that's his wife. And talk about uh, who helps you out here. It's, uh, I got Kelly. I, that's about all I've got today is me and her. It's teamwork, both of us do it. You know, she's all the time on the mowers and helping me and feeding every evening. She loves it, doesn't yep, she? Yep, she does. She Would does. you ever have thought back years ago before y'all got together that you'd have a life like this? You know what, dreamed of it. I dreamed of it as a kid. The cool thing is, is the farm life. I think that's really the reason why we do this. It is. Okay, it's it, a lifestyle, okay? And so uh, you get to bring people out here that, that also enjoy the lifestyle enough to where they want to get started in it. And that's one thing that with this TV show that what we want, want to do, we want to share with you our lifestyle. I mean, so you have an opportunity, you do bring people out and show them the place and kids. And how do they like that? Tell you what, it's the part that I love the most. Family shows up, got all these kids, they always want to feed the animals, you know. It gives, it's giving back. It's letting somebody else get to enjoy what I'm enjoying. You know, that, that's what makes it fun. But tell everybody about your whitetails. The whitetails, I've been farming them for 10 years. It's been great. You get to watch them grow up every year. And that's probably the thing I really enjoy, Keith. Every year I got something new to look at. So you've got a couple of bucks that you've actually named. Tell me about them. I've got Loco out here, and um, he's actually eight years old this year. Whoa. And uh, he's a big family pet, but he is. The other deer I'd have out here is malicious and a big, pretty typical buck. And that's what I try to strive for. I like the typicals, but that's what makes it fun. The deer farming fun is we like different things. We all do, you know, oh, some yeah, like typicals, some like great big. So. It's different than, than like sheep hunting. All the sheep look the same, but not all deer that, look the same. That's right. But you talk to a sheep hunter, they'll probably say, no, they're all a little different. So. Yeah, they are a little bit different, but deer are a lot different. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I want to tell you that Garrett is probably one of the most serious white-tailed deer hunters I know. You look in your house, you've got these giant mule deer trophies or whitetail trophies, and, and somebody may be thinking, oh, these are high fence animals. They say, uh, 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 uh. This guy right here is mad at the whitetail deer. He hunts whitetail deer like nobody I've ever known before, and he's killed some giant free range deer. But uh, the reason why I tell people the reason why I'm a deer farmer is because I couldn't get enough of hunting deer. Right. I mean, it was just being around deer while the hunting season wasn't enough. We're addicted to them, and that's what it is. We're just so addicted to them, and that's. That's one reason even with me starting into the deer farming a little bit. I thought to myself, what else can I learn on a white-tailed deer? Okay, and think about what you've learned as a deer farmer that's helped you become a better deer hunter. Think about that. Yeah. I mean, these deer will teach you something all the time. And, and deer farms are the place that's uh, going to come up with a solution for chronic wasting disease as well. And so I think there's many good things that happen on deer farm. And if you're interested in coming out here to Liberty, Missouri and seeing what's going on with Kelly and Garrett, give them a phone number. 816-806-9905. And uh, when we get back, we're gonna head down the road to Nold Farms. We're gonna show you some big old deer down there. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by Big Time Whitetails and Exotics, LE Fence, Record Rack Deer and Elk Feeds, UVC Power Sports Tractors and Outdoors, and by New Dart. Deer and Wildlife Stories will be right back. Closed captioning is brought to you by Advanced Deer Genetics. All 
All right, so this is Amy Nold. She and her husband, Jeff, own Nold Farms, and they've only been whitetail breeding for five years, and you're not gonna believe these yearlings. So tell everybody about them. So we AI about 100% of our does every year. That's how we're getting our genetics, trying to get 200 inches at two years old. So we bred with a partner buck that we have out of Texas at Limitless Genetics. His name is Big Slick. So those are really starting to stand out and showing their stuff. Yeah, we got some big, their stuff. big Slick. And so like that one right there is, who's his daddy? His daddy's Big Slick. How about that one? Big Slick. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Big Slick, the name comes up and comes up, and the reason why is simple, because it's genetics. It, it really is. And so what we're doing, we're taking and we're inseminating these deer with unbelievable genetics, and that's the outcome right there. So tell everybody how big uh, your pins are, how many pins do you have, and how many deer you have. So we have 19 one-acre pins is pretty much what we try to stick with. A few of them are just a little over an acre and a couple of them are probably three quarters of an acre. And how many deer total? So we have uh, 350 deer right now on the farm. Wow, 350. And you've been doing it for five years. Yeah. Y'all are serious about it. Yeah, we started off with 30 deer five years ago. Okay, well, why did y'all get started with white-tailed deer? You could have done sheep, goats, pigs, by deer. Ah, uh, well, I raised cattle growing up and sheep growing up, so I had that husbandry background, but Jeff didn't want to give up his row crop for large pastures, so we kind of started showing an interest in the deer and kind of just fell in our lap. We started taking care of a herd, and then we bought that herd out, and here we are today. So tell everybody about your little girls and how much they love the farm life, but really love the deer. Evelyn, our youngest, her world's around the deer. She loves the bottle feeding. She loves to go out every morning and helps Jeff feed. She pets them, she feeds them cookies. She hugs them. Sometimes you'll catch her out there dancing with them. So you don't have to worry about getting her up early in the morning, do you? Absolutely not, she's up with the sun. And think about that, a kid, I mean a kid, all kids wanna sleep in unless they have a passion for something. And she definitely has a passion. Yeah, and then Kayleen, our oldest daughter, she likes the bookkeeping part of it. She's got her own binders that she keeps notes in. When we run deer through the shoot, she highlights and checks them off and makes sure we've got everybody worked. And then she's the boss of her sister. Yeah, yeah no doubt. <laughs> but if you, if you go to an event and you see an old farm's booth, you're gonna see the girls and you're gonna tell who's who. That's for doggone sure. <laughs> but I will tell you this, y'all really work well together as a team, don't you? Yeah, so they're really taking all aspects in. And I mean, it makes us feel good that there's a future for our farm in them. You doggone right. And the thing is, the future for those little girls is bright because they're learning how to work, respect, love, responsibility, all these wonderful things that you learn from living on a farm. Yeah, I absolutely. Mean, all right, so who do we have in here? Two-year-olds? Two-year-old bucks are all in this pen, yes, sir. Were they all born here? Every one of them were born really? here, yeah. Okay, y'all have been breeding how long now? About five years. Golly. Take a look at this. I mean, five years and look at the success they're having. and. Uh, yeah, that buck right there, that real wide one, he's a two-year-old as well. That's a two-year-old deer, yes. Everything in this pen is two years old. My gosh, it, who's that one right there? One just, I mean, he's just really impressive. That's plutonium. He's okay. a he's a triple crown Sunny Junior high roller. Oh, he's got the paper on him. Yeah. Wow, how many you got in here? There's 34 bucks in this pen. Okay, and so tell everybody what's gonna happen to these bucks, okay? Because you get rid of bucks at two years old, and it's, uh, right now it's the last of July, and payday for a deer farmer is right around the corner. Yes, sir. So tell everybody how you get your money. Where's payday come from and where are these deer are going? Our business plan is that we want a two-year-old buck that weighs 200 pounds and has at least 200 inches of antler on his head. And the way you do that is with genetics. Genetics and feed. Yep. Both, okay. you gotta have both. And so where are they going? They go to a pasture to bring better genetics to someone else's herd. So you got some fallow deer, right? We do have a few fallow deer, yeah. We're just starting in fallow. Why did you do that? They don't get EHD. This is the first year we've ever had fallow, so yep. we've not had any sick animals, not had anything disastrous happen. So when you started out, let me ask you this, you probably didn't know much about deer. You're a deer hunter, you knew about like that, but you didn't know how to farm deer. Did you get much help from people? Yes, 
We called a lot of people. We talked to a lot of people. Just go to shows, go to different locations, and visit with as many deer farmers as you possibly can to try to get as much information as you need to raise deer successfully. So if somebody wants more information, tell them exactly where you're located, because you're kind of out here in the middle of the ag country of Missouri. Tell them where you're located and what they need to do to be able to get a hold of you if they want to come out for a farm tour. So we're lo located in West Central Missouri. We're about 15 miles off of 49 Highway, about 45 miles south of Kansas City. You can contact me at 660-492-0215 and we do farm tours. We just ask that you call ahead and schedule an appointment so that we can be prepared. Bring uh, your camera because you're going to love it. You're going to love meeting them. Deer and Wildlife Stories is brought to you by Union Hill Whitetails, the North American Deer Registry, New Dart, and the North American Deer Farmers Association. For more videos on deer farming, check out the Deer Farming Channel on YouTube. Now some great information on fencing from our friends at LE Fence. Hey guys, this is Ron with Ellie Fence here. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're putting an overhead up in this gate area solely because we're trying to hinge the gate off of the side without the brace. Reason we're doing this is because we've got the trees right here and we don't want to take any of the space and take the trees out of here. We want to leave the tree coverage for the deer. So in order to do this, we got to raise the pipes up a little bit, give about two feet of clearance over our gate and then weld a horizontal pipe between the two uprights. In doing so, we're gonna be able to hang the gate off of the far post, and that's gonna take all the pressure off of the single post and distribute it through the overhead and the brace. That way we can fold the gate open and shut, and we don't have to worry about a sagging post. So if you ever need a solution on how to hang a gate but you don't have all the room for the brace, if you can do an overhead in there, you'll be good to go. So, thanks a lot, guys. So we're just outside of McDowell, Missouri at Little Flat Creek Ranch. It's not your typical deer farm and you're about to find out why. I'm Bradley Lukenhoff, wildlife manager at Little Flat Creek Ranch. We're located in Southwest Missouri. We provide hunts for the Catch a Dream Foundation, which is an organization created to provide trips for children with life-threatening illnesses. And then we also work with Charlie 22, which is a veteran organization providing hunts and fishing trips for them as well. These hunts are completely free of charge um, to the people that are hunting as well as the organizations that we're working with. And that is funded based off of our partners and our sponsors that give back to us and help us with the costs. So the property is 1,800 acres, 1,500 of which is in a preserve. It's beautiful Ozark Mountains. We have some pastures, a lot of hardwood timbers, we have a creek that runs right in front of the lodge. This is a beautiful spring-fed creek stocked with rainbow trout. And then we have a man-made 17-acre lake that's stocked with bass, bluegill, catfish. And then we have also a spring pond as well um, that brings in a bunch of waterfowl in the wintertime when everything else freezes up. Aside from our preserve, we are a deer farm. We currently have about 70 does, six breeder bucks, and then we had a really good fawning year. We're currently holding about 60 fawns. The goal would be to build that to about 100 breeder does. And just to make sure that uh, no matter how many we take off the preserve, that we have plenty more to stock in. The property owners are Ed and Julia Merrith. Um, however, if you talk to them, they're not the owners. They'll tell you that God's the owner. We're just here to uh, take care of the place and provide uh, for what his, his calling is. Hello, I'm Ed Merritt, and this is Little Flat Creek Ranch. We are the custodians. This is God's place that we manicure and take care of. We do this because we've been blessed in a way that is quite incredible, and it gives us the opportunity to give back to people that are struggling, maybe worse than we've had a complication with, and we want to show them that God cares for them. I feel fulfilled when we see a family that leaves here satisfied that they've had an experience with their Creator and experienced what He gave us as a gift and through us we just presented this to them. Yeah, so Bradley Luganoff is uh, my son-in-law. He oversees and is really becoming much more instrumental in how we protect and provide for the wildlife here for the benefit of everyone. 
He also tries to make sure that we keep the properties in a way that is encouraging and uplifting and all the equipment and things are maintained along with our staff here. We just wanted to get our name out and tell people what we do, especially on the preserve side. Providing these trips for children that their life may be much shorter than ours, struggling with just horrible diseases or even veterans that are struggling with the memories of going overseas and fighting for our country. We're able to just give them a little bit of hope, a little bit of enjoyment in the few days that they're here, and hopefully we're able to accomplish their dream um, of killing a beautiful whitetail or catching a fish um, in our lake and stream. What did you do, boy? Look at that deer, holy goodness. My entire purpose with having Keith and his crew out here is just hopefully get our name out there, hopefully get some people that want to donate um, and sponsor us to help fund these trips that we're doing. We currently do right around 15 to 18 Catch a Dream trips yearly and about the same with Charlie 22. We would love to skyrocket that and do as many trips as we can, but we can't do that without the help from some awesome partners and, and sponsors that would want to contribute to us. Is that good enough? And if you would be interested in supporting us, um, whether that's product or financially, um, we would love your support. Um, you can find our contact information on our website, littleflatcreekranches.com. If you would like to learn more about Catch a Dream and how you can come on a hunt with that, uh, you can visit Catch a Dream's website at catchadream.org. If you would like to learn more about Charlie 22, you can visit their website at charlie22outdoors.com. If you want to learn more about deer farming, check out the Deer Farming Channel on YouTube. Okay, so you've got property and you're wanting to build. Maybe a barn dominium, maybe deer facilities, or maybe a badass lodge. Well, you've got to check out Rafter P Construction. Rafter P Construction is the leading design build contractor across the state of Texas. Specializing in quality farm and ranch design build projects, Rafter P Construction encourages their customers to be very hands-on, incorporating your input into every aspect of your project with their in-house design teams. The goal of Rafter P Construction is to be your builder for life. Rafter P Construction, they'll be with you every step of the way to build your dream project. All the while, keeping quality and customer satisfaction at the forefront.